Barnaby Jones, a Quinn Martin production. Starring Buddy Ebsen. Also starring Lee Merriweather, Mark Shera, With guest stars Terry Nunn, Marla Adams, Patricia Smith, Gene Racy. Tonight's episode, Academy of Evil. Hello, George. I've been wanting to ask you, have you found a replacement for Meg Campbell yet? I've found several, but the board of directors keep stalling. I don't remember them being that fussy when they hired me. <laughs> Come on, Grace, that was 10 years ago. Today, there are lots of good teachers out of work, but the board is just taking its own sweet time. In the meantime, we get to double up substituting. Well, if I don't get some action soon, I promise you, I'll hire a temporary myself. Oh, my tired body would surely appreciate it. You know, teaching English doesn't exactly qualify one for the rigors of physical education. <laughs> I know, Grace, and I'm sorry. I'll see you later. I want to get this letter off tonight. I'm going to drive into the village. Fine. Bye-bye. <laughs> She's dead? Well, she is. She brought it on herself. A middle-aged woman like Grace? It's a miracle she wasn't killed. But why are you sure it wasn't an accident? Because there have been others. A fire in one teacher's bedroom that could have been fatal. And an explosion in the science lab that injured the chemistry teacher. But couldn't they have been accidents too? Well, those two teachers didn't seem to think so. They both resigned. Why haven't you taken it to the police? Oh, believe me, I wanted to. But the board of directors wouldn't let me. Not without proof. They insist that I'm overreacting to what are really accidents. That's why I called Betty last night for advice. I knew I could trust her. And she promised me that you would be very discreet about your investigation. Yes, of course, we would be, but uh, right now, Jedediah and I are very busy searching for a missing witness in an ongoing murder case. Yeah, that's going to take about two days. Didn't you tell her that, Betty? Mm-hmm. I told her. And uh, Betty has a wonderful idea. Uh-oh. Jedediah, here it comes. Oh, now, wait a minute, wait a minute. This wonderful idea, does it by any chance involve a lot of filing and typing and phoning for... <laughs> So what you want to do is go to West Haven yourself and size it up? Well, no one will know who I am. Uh, Eleanor says that I could be hired on as the substitute for the physical education teacher who quit. Phys ed teacher? Oh, come on. I was very good in school, wasn't I, Eleanor? Oh, absolutely. Betty always got straight A's in gym. <laughs> <clears throat> what do you think, Jedediah? Well, I'm sorry. I, you know, I think, uh... I think I better cancel my dates for the next three weeks. 
that you were thinking about making. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sue Ann Moore, you have sworn a vow of faithfulness on the dagger of fealty, which cuts through all other ties and bonds us together forever. Some woman just drove in. It could be a new teacher. Later, Liz. Sue Ann Moore, how do you plead? I didn't say anything to anyone. I swear I didn't. Dear Mom and Dad, you have to take me away from West Haven. There are terrible things going on here. That's my letter. Did you think we were fools? Why do you think Patty volunteered to work in the office? I didn't want to make trouble. I just wanted to go home. A bunch of the girls formed a secret society last year. At first, it was just fun, parties after lights out, things like that. But now they're beginning to hurt people. You were honored by membership in this society. We trusted you. We took risks to protect you. And you repay us by breaking the rule of silence? I got scared. I thought Mrs. Nesbitt was going to die. You have to be taught a lesson. On your knees. Don't hurt me, please. Repeat after me. I, Sue Ann Moore, do vow on the dagger of fealty. I, Sue Ann Moore, do vow on the dagger of fealty. Never again to violate the code of silence. Never again to violate the code of silence. You will be tested by ordeal, if everyone agrees, of course. You make me really glad I came back. Hi, are you a new teacher? Oh, yes, I'm taking over for Miss Campbell. This is uh, Miss Jones. Oh, it's girls. Mrs. Uh, Olivia, Donna, and Liz. Hi. Hi, nice to meet you. Hope you like it here, Mrs. Jones. Well, yeah. I've been looking forward to it. Well, bye bye. Bye bye. Well, See bye -bye. you later. Well, they seem like nice girls. Yes, yeah, such a pleasure. And Olivia is so bright. But sad, too, though she tries hard not to show it. Problems? A family situation. No mother. A father too busy to pay her too much attention. And she so adores him. It's enough to break your heart. Mm. Well, I'm sure I'm going to like it here at West Haven, Grace. The only thing that worries me a little bit are these accidents that Eleanor's been telling me about. Of course, I suppose that's how I got the job, replacing one of the teachers who quit because of them. After my fall, I thought about quitting, too. Where could I go? There just aren't that many teaching jobs around today. Well, do you feel it wasn't an accident? Well, I just don't know. I assumed I tripped over a vine or something. Now I've had time to think. I'm just not sure anymore. Is that it? Yes. It looks a lot worse than it is. It seems so high for a trailing vine. You know, it looks more like a rope burn. You don't think the girls you were following could have done it, do you? <laughs> I would certainly hope not. Well, did they try to help you? No, but I'm not even sure they knew I fell. Surely you must have made some sort of noise. Oh, yes, I screamed. Do you have any idea who they were? No, nope, I never got a good look at them. Do you have any suspicions? I mean, you know, someone who might have wanted to get even for a oh, disciplinary action, perhaps. Well, now there was one. I revoked Donna Austin's weekend privileges recently. She was falling behind in her studies. She wasn't resentful at all. Oh, I think maybe we're just imagining all this. 
<laughs> anyway, I'm really glad you're here. So am I. <laughs> we'll talk later. Wait till you meet my dad, Liz. He is so neat. And this time he promised he's gonna be here tomorrow. <laughs> hey, super. I know. We're gonna go on his boat to Catalina. I mean, can you oh, believe oh. I'm going to have him for two whole days? <laughs> oh, I gotta get a new outfit. Come into town with me tomorrow morning, All right. okay? Olivia. Look. Donna's got that uptight look. Let's check it out. Why are you asking me about Ms. Nesbitt's class? You're, you're teaching P.E. No, I just want to get to know all my students as quickly as possible. So I was checking the records, and I saw that she had grounded you for a whole weekend. Oh, well, um, English. It's not my all-time favorite subject. <sighs> I don't imagine it's your all-time favorite form of punishment, either, huh? Well, no, actually, I, I was planning on staying in and studying the whole weekend. Excuse me, Mrs. Jones, but uh, it's only about 10 minutes till P.E., and uh, I've been helping Donna with English. She wanted me to look over a paper. Do you mind? Of course not, Olivia. Thank you. Bye. What was that about? Well, she was asking me about the weekend Nesbitt grounded me. Why? She said she'd been going over records, wanting to get acquainted with students. Yeah, but why lean on that? It's history. I don't think she meant anything by it. Maybe not. I guess teachers should know all about our students. Just like we should know all about our teachers. Right. Good morning, class. I'm Mrs. Jones. And uh, as there is a touch of the nip in the air. Let's uh, begin with uh, 10 deep knee bends, all right? Hands on hips, begin. Uh, that's everyone. Mrs. Jones, the seniors don't have to do setting up exercises. Oh, well, I wasn't informed of that. Uh, well, if you'll please do them right now, and then uh... No way. It's Liz, isn't it? That's right. Well, I'm sorry you said that, Liz, because you've placed me in a difficult position in front of the entire class. Well, I can't help that. I'm a senior, and I don't do setups. Well, you've left me no choice now but to remind you that I'm the teacher, and you're the students. And you'll do three laps around the track. I mean it, Liz. Mrs. Jones, um... I don't think you understand. See, uh, Miss Campbell gave the senior special privileges. And I said that I would check on it later. But in the meantime... The privileges are for the whole semester. Well, I'm sorry, Olivia, that you and Liz have chosen to make an issue of this. But since you have, you'll both do three laps. Right now, girls, or you'll be expelled from this class. Anyone prefer to join them? Good, all right. Begin, hands on hips. Down, up, down, up, down, up. I didn't think she'd be that tough. Well, we'll just have to teach her a lesson, that's all. I uh, heard about your confrontation today. Oh, Betty, I'm sorry. That's, that's all right. No, I should have told you that Meg Campbell was big on special privileges. Well, it doesn't matter. Just so long as the girls are convinced that I'm a teacher. <laughs> oh. oh, by the way, did you get a line on Meg? Just that uh, she's working in the little village near here as a waitress, I heard. I'll uh, run it down tomorrow. Oh, great. Well, what about the science teacher? Alma Purcell. 
Well, she's teaching somewhere in the Los Angeles system. That's all I know. Maybe Barnaby could locate her. You say it was a mislabeled bottle that caused the explosion? Yes, but Alma swears it was done maliciously. You see, Betty, that wasn't the first thing that happened. Someone let the air out of her tires, and then she got a nasty shock from a loosened wire in the lab. Are there many lab keys out? Well, several of the teachers have them. So does George, the custodian. Barnaby Jones, Investigations. Hi, Barnaby. It's Betty. Oh, Betty. We were just going out to eat. Hi, Teach. How's it going? Any openings in the faculty for a fine, clean-cut young man? You know, I've always wanted to, to teach at a girls' school. Oh, I just bet you have. But I somehow doubt that the subjects you want to teach are on the West Haven curriculum. How's it going, Betty? Everything's fine, Barnaby. I just need some help tracking down one of the teachers who left here. Well, it'll have to be Jedediah. I've got to go to San Diego tomorrow. Betty, what's her name? Alma Purcell. No address, but she would be teaching science in a Los Angeles high school. Well, what do I do when I find her? Well, I'm looking for motive, JR. Um, revenge, a disgruntled student, that sort of thing. Betty, don't get in too deep up there. Don't worry. Everything's peaceful so far. Please don't make me do this. Sue Ann, you are in deep trouble with us. And this is no big deal. All you have to do is search the files. We'll take care of George. And make sure you get everything on Jonesy. Got it? Okay, come on. Hi, Georgie. How are things, Georgie? You too. You're going to get caught one of these times. You know that. Oh, but we're so hungry. We keep lying in bed thinking of all the good things to eat down there in the refrigerator. No, I'm not going to open the kitchen again now. That's fine. We're going into the village tomorrow. I guess we can just forget about your favorite cigars this time, huh? Well, we'd have to make it fast. I've got a lot of work to do. Come on, George. Keep your eyes open going back. Don't let anybody see you. Lighten up, George. You worry too much. A refrigerator door. What about it? I think I left it open. You think? Yeah. Why don't I let you get me into this? You were supposed to be gone by now. I couldn't find anything. I looked and looked. There's nothing in there on Jones. Maybe it hasn't been filed yet. Go watch for George. Mrs. Jones. Donna, may I come in? Mrs. Jones. Well, sure. Thank you. I was, um, I was hoping you might be able to, to help me. Help you? Mm-hmm. Could you tell me why Liz and Olivia don't like me? Oh, they like you. They didn't act like it this morning. Oh, that was just because you didn't know about the senior privileges. Well, what about earlier? When I was talking to you, I had the distinct impression that they didn't want me to talk to you. Uh, oh, no! Oh, Olivia, she wanted to help me with my English. Oh, I suppose I'm just being overly cautious. 
I uh, certainly don't want any of these accidents to start happening to me. What do you mean? You don't, you don't think the girls had anything to do with that, do you? I don't know. What do you think? Me? I don't, I don't know anything about it. Donna, I have the strangest feeling you're holding something back from me. I don't know what you mean. Donna, if you're having a problem, don't you think it'd be a good idea to talk about it? You can trust me, you know. I'm sorry. Oh, uh... That's all right, Sue Ann. I was just leaving. Uh, lights out in a few minutes, girls. Night night. Night. What's with her? She's all shook up about the accident. Did she say anything? So when I want to tell you something. So when I'm scared. The society thing is getting out of hand. But what can we do? Look what happened to me. So Anne, look. What if we went to Miss Raymond, the two of us? Told her about everything. Olivia wouldn't dare do anything then. I don't know. She's no dummy. She'd figure a way. But maybe they'd expel her. Come on, Sue. I'll go if you will. Right now. Wait. We gotta think about this. Let's sleep on it. And we'll talk tomorrow, okay? All right. I'm gonna go brush my teeth. I told you to stay in your room. I gotta tell you something. Something very important. So? First, you gotta promise no more ordeals. <laughs> I don't gotta promise anything. Just say what you have to say. Sue Ann! Mrs. Jones talked to Donna again, and she's really getting to her. She wants to tell Miss Raymond everything. Donna? Mm -hmm. She wanted me to go with her, but I came here instead. Doesn't that clear me? I'll think about it. Look, go to bed and stay there and keep a tight mouth. Maybe we'd better lay back a little, right? Wrong. Set the alarm, Liz. For 2 a.m. What are you doing? There isn't time to get our other sisters up and go to the basement. There's no time for a trial. Just the verdict and the punishment. The society protected you. It punished Nesbitt. It got her off your back, didn't it? Didn't it? Well, now we're going to have to protect the society from you. <laughs> Donna, what happened? Oh, it's really nothing. I burned myself on a curling iron. I've got to go. Betty? I was on my way to your room. Listen, I've located Meg Campbell for you. She's a waitress at the Sagebrush. Now, that's a restaurant in Santa Carlita. Mm, that's good. Betty? You know, Eleanor, I, uh, I'm sure Donna's mixed up in this thing. But I have the strangest feeling that she doesn't want to be. They may be forcing her. They? Olivia and Liz. But why would you think Donna's being forced? Because it's uh, very difficult to burn your forehead with a curling iron when you obviously haven't used one on your hair. What good is it calling Jonesy's number? I mean, we know she's here. Yeah, but we don't know who's there. So what will they do? Give us her pedigree? Liz, sometimes you have no imagination.
Barnaby Jones investigation. Is Betty Jones there, please? Not at the moment, Mask. Who's calling? No, no, that's okay. Uh, it's personal. I'll call back later. Thanks. What is it, Libby? What did they say? Barnaby Jones investigations. Investigations? What kind? This kind. It's a detective agency. Our new phys ed teacher is a private cop. What are we going to do? Well, we're going to find her. She's gone. She just drove off toward the village. Yeah, well, would you have her call the office the second she gets in? Yeah. Thank you. Bye-bye. Anything new? Well, I talked to that science teacher for Biddy, Elma Purcell, but there's something else, Barnaby. Got kind of a peculiar call for Betty. About West Haven? I don't know. I don't know. It was a girl, and she uh, said it was personal, but she wouldn't leave her name. And then she became very anxious to get off the phone. One of the schoolgirls checking her out, you think? Well, it was a young voice, but how would she get this number? And you couldn't reach Betty? No, she took a run up to Santa Carlita. Barnaby, you think I should be there when she gets back? Yes, uh, I'd be there too, but uh, I've got something else to do. All right, I'll keep in touch. for a Meg Campbell. I'm Meg. Oh, good. Uh, my name's Betty Jones. I've, huh? um, well, I've taken over your classes at West Haven. Oh, well, you have my sympathy. Yes. Well, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. I, you see, I'm not really a teacher. I'm a, I work for a private investigator. Oh, uh, well, sit down, and I'll be with you as soon as I can. OK? okay. Thank you. I'll pick you up at 3. And be sure you're here, because I'm not going to wait this time. Sure you will, Georgie, because we'll have your cigars. That's right. Bye, Georgie. Come on, let's shed these shrouds and give the locals a cheap thrill. Right up. Look for a car. Well, well, if it isn't two little chickies from West Haven. Looking for action, ladies, or you just lost? Cool it, corn poem. You're spinning your wheels. Type. Yeah, well, I just figured that... Boy, I really love this pickup. Oh, I bet it's a real trip to drive. Shoot, are you up to finding out? Yeah. Wow. My name's Cal. Oh, Cal, baby. You're not gonna forget the beer, are you? Beer? Oh, yeah, the beer. I'll be right back. What 
Donna Austin be on your list of suspects? Oh, no. No, she's, she was never a problem. <sighs> Liz Baxter. She's the one. You know, um, star athlete, cocky. Oh, it was a real tug of war with her. What about Olivia? Well, you have to figure that whatever Liz is into, so is Olivia. I mean, they are really tight friends. Am I being any help? Oh, yes, I, I see a pattern beginning to form. I, I just can't get the key to drop into place. Look, I have to get back to work. But if you want to talk anymore, you just holler, OK? Thanks, Mike. I will. I drove through Santa Carlita and I didn't see her car. She's not here either. Nobody's heard from her since she went to the village? No, I think I'm going to backtrack the road to Santa Carlita. I got a good lead on that witness, but that's going to have to wait now. I'm coming up there. All right, I'll talk to you later. Goodbye. Uh, I'll be back as soon as I can, OK? Excuse me. Oh, Benny! Hey. Where have you been? I'm oh, glad you're here. Oh. All right, what happened? I have been sitting in a bunch of trees off a side road outside of Santa Carlita, hiding from some crazies in a pickup truck who tried to run me off the road. You have any idea who they were? Well, there were two of them, but I, I couldn't get a good look at them, and I sure didn't have time to get the license number. But I'll tell you this, they weren't kidding. They were after me. Like they could have known who you were. But she's been very careful. I mean, how could anyone know? Well, suppose that they somehow got your number at the office and called it. Once we answer Barnaby Jones' investigations, what else do they have to know? Did somebody call? Oh, yeah, this morning a girl did. She asked for you. But I'm the only one here who has her number. Well, look, we all know that there isn't any place on any campus that's student-proof. But which students? Well, see if this helps. I talked to Elmer Purcell. Oh, who were her problems? Liz Baxter, Don Austin? Mm -mm. Olivia Hamilton and Sue Ann Moore. Well, it figures. Olivia is Liz's roommate, and Sue Ann is Donna's. What are you saying? There's a whole clique of girls? After what's happened to me, I think there's a whole gang. But we don't even allow sororities. Well, they don't allow gangs in Chicago either, but they got them. JR, come with me. We've got to find Donna. I think we know enough now. We can make her talk. OK. Keep an eye out for Barnaby, please. Thanks a lot, George. Hello? 
Olivia! Olivia! Daddy! Daddy! Oh, baby! Oh, Daddy! Oh, Daddy, I missed you! Oh, me too, baby, me too. Just look at you. Fantastic. You know, I knew it. I knew it all the time. This would be the place for you. Hey, everything okay? And, uh, you get along okay, no problem. No, no problems. <laughs> <sighs> You know, when I think of all the money that I shell out to those shrinks all those years, and well, all you needed was, was this. Well, what I, what I needed was to get away from doctors. Oh. Seems like all I wanted to do was keep me in the hospital. Well, I couldn't very well do that if I wouldn't sign the papers. You know, I realize now it would have been a terrible mistake. Let's not talk about that. Okay. I, I want to see your boat. Oh. I really do. Oh, I got a new outfit, too. You want to see it? Let me show you what I got. We're not going, are we? Uh, baby, listen. Uh, we're gonna have to put off our little trip for a while, okay? Just for a week, I promise. No, I'm, I'm just as disappointed as you are, but she's a very important client. Sure. Well, look, I... But really, she's only gonna be in town this weekend. It's okay. Hey, look. I will make it up to you. You... Go have yourself one ball, okay? All right, take care. Change my mind. I don't know, he had some older woman with him. So, you know, I told him that it was either the two of us or not at all. Besides, we got something a lot more important to do right here. What? Call a meeting. Everybody, except Donna. I don't think we can trust her anymore. All right. Donna, we've been looking for you. What? Why? What do you want with me? This is J.R. Jones. He's a private investigator. A oh, detective? And I work with him. I was called in to investigate the so-called accidents. And uh, Betty has enough evidence now so that she called me in to wrap up the gang. Gang? Th there's no gang. Oh, yes, there is. Liz, Olivia, Sue Ann, you. No! Donna, we know you're the leader. Me? No! No, Olivia, she put us up. I better call the sheriff. I didn't want to be a member. Not after they started hurting people. And even the rituals, they got worse and worse. Rituals? In the basement. Donna, take me there. Donna, we need the evidence. Honey, you want this to stop, don't you? All right, come on. Our new phys ed teacher is a phony. She's a private detective. What are we going to do? Maybe we better disband. No. No, we're not going to disband. Somebody's coming. Mm -hmm. Hit the lights, Patty. Welcome to the secret chambers of the society, Mrs. Jones. You saved us quite a lot of trouble. Well, you'll save yourselves even more trouble by coming to Miss Raymond's office with me right now. Oh, no. We're not going anywhere. And neither are you. Sit down. You must be joking. Sit 
down and be judged. Very theatrical, Olivia. You should be majoring in drama. We know who you are. We know you're trying to destroy the society. But you're not going to do it because you are going to die. You mean really kill her? Well, yes, we have to, don't you see? She's, she's gonna put us in jail. Oh, you're right about going to jail. The sheriff's already been called. He's on his way. You're a liar. No, she's telling the truth. There's another detective already here, and I've talked to him. Silence! All of you, remember your vow. Does that vow include murder, girls? Stop and think. Think about what she's trying to tell you to do. Liz, stop her. Stop her! Olivia, please stop. You don't know what you're doing. Are you calling me crazy? Honey, I would never do anything to hurt you. You know that. Well, then do as I say. Hold her. Hold her. Hold her. <laughs> I don't understand it. None of the girls we want are in their rooms, and no one seems to know where they are. I can't find Betty or Donna either. Put it down. Olivia. I forgot to tell you. That is, he's coming on, on his on his boat tomorrow. And he, and he really wants you to come come with us. You, you'll really like him. He's he's a lot of fun. Yeah. He's he's fun. It'll be all right. I'm certainly going to miss you, Betty. Look, why don't you just stay around here and teach phys ed for us? Oh, thanks, Eleanor, but no thanks. Oh, but I do recall J.R. saying that he might like to teach uh, here at West Haven something or other. Yeah, well, uh, since then, I've kind of adjusted my attitude towards such impetuous thoughts. You know, girls can actually be dangerous. Oh. <laughs> Let us talk to Lieutenant Biddle. Um, following our lead, he found a witness. Your secretary just received a call for you from a Charles West. Oh, yes. He's our chairman of the board of directors. Seems that the board just had a meeting in which they decided that uh, for the good of the school, it might be well to hire an outside investigator, uh, possibly operating undercover as a teacher, to see if they can find out what's causing all these awful accidents.